back in field goal percentage to bottom league and field goal. <laughs> you always have the radio on. from our last video actually two major announcements one is this new truck that we are in which is way bigger than our hatchback I was really sad to let it go but Joseph was very excited to pull out his man card <laughs> and have an actual truck although I'm kind of white knuckling it as I practice so I swear I'm gonna take out a mailbox on one side and then hit someone else on the other, but I've got 20 hours of driving coming up once we make our move, oops, which is our <laughs> second announcement. I guess I just kind of let it out. But that is our house is finally under contract. Woohoo! It's been such a whirlwind. We're trying to kind of get a last uh, hurrah, if it, as it were. Uh, through Florida. So we had my family over last week. We kind of did a cookout with the kids, had a good time. Just really enjoyed the Florida weather uh, with our nieces and nephews. actually on the way to the airport because it's getting cold in New York so your parents are coming down. They're flying down for a week. We're gonna kind of give them that last Florida experience. It's been a week since Kaylin's parents left and we are in full scale packing mode. We've got in progress boxes, the Goodwill pile, and the truck pile. When it comes to packing a truck, I'm very spatially challenged and they always say this truck will hold two to three rooms and I, I don't know how much it's gonna hold so I came up with a solution. Here, let me show you. So what I did is I took a section in our living room and I marked out these post-it notes on the wall and on the floor that show us exactly how big that truck is. So if we can fit everything in here, we should be able to fit everything in the truck. We're also trying to keep things super organized. So maybe this is a little over the top, but I've come up with a duct tape color-coded system for all our boxes. So when we're ready to come back from our RV trip and settle in an actual home, we're gonna be a lot more organized and know exactly where boxes belong, which is just gonna make the whole process a lot easier. I also found the cutest duct tape. It was actually on clearance, I think, at Michael's Arts and Crafts store, but it has little RVs on it. It's not so cute. So this is going on all our boxes of things that are going with us into the RV. So a lot of people have asked us where are we headed first once we get out on the road, but we kind of have a few housekeeping mm -hmm. items to take care of. First we have to pick up the RV, which is all the way in New York. 
So we're gonna drive up there on closing day, pick up the RV, do some renovations, mostly cosmetic, get some solar panels on there. And once we're done with New York, we're gonna head back to Florida. We're gonna stop a couple places on the way down, maybe Savannah, mm -hmm. spend Christmas with my family before we head out on the open road and head to places like Texas, the Grand Canyon. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that we're staying south until spring and it gets at least high 60s, 70s. <laughs> I least. feel like that's pushing it for me. Next update will be moving day. We'll catch you guys on the open road. Now that the house is under contract, it's like, ah! How's that again? <laughs> ah! <laughs> One more time, ah! <laughs> we don't need to do it one more time. Ah! They get it!